Hey everybody, welcome to the studio. I am Andy. Today we are going to take a nice fat look at an awesome piece of guitar software called THU from Overloud. Now, uh, if you watch this channel at all, sorry, reverb. If you watch this channel at all, you're aware that I probably that I use the Slate package, um, like plugins and stuff from Slate Digital. My version of THU is what comes in Slate, so it's pretty comparable to the uh, normal THU. I think I haven't really scoped it out. If I'm wrong about that, just point it out in the comments down there. Um, so <clears throat> that's what we're going to do today. A little bit of a, a side dish uh, with this will be some Ableton stuff, as that's been most of what I've been messing around in lately, um, which is an awesome, fun uh, way to make music that, uh, you know, I should have known about. Well, I knew about it, but I should have played with it long before I actually did, uh, which was recently. So let us have a look. So Overloud from THU. Let's look over here at the Raven and see what's up. Let me turn me on as well. Let me turn me on as well. There I am. And so uh, <clears throat> let's look at our, there it is. So what you're looking at in THU, we've got, uh, it's an amp modeler, more or less. And so I'm going to expand out each side's menus here so you can kind of get a glance at what's happening and what we're seeing. So on the left, we have banks and presets. Top thingy is banks. The next one is, is presets. Um, you can see I have a bunch of couple of harp presets here. Um, and so in the middle is all your amp stuff. Over on the right is these is all the things that you can choose from. So the very first one is a rig player. That's what I've got two of in here. Um, but as you go down through here, there are a lot, I mean, a lot of amplifiers. So you can start from scratch if you want to. You can. Uh, you know, drop in uh, any amplifier you want in any cabinet and etc. And so I'll, I'll roll down through here. You can guess, you know, like some of these are pretty obvious what they are. Bass face 59. It's a US amp. Any guesses? Burn sphere, you know, uh, the uh, DV Mark stuff, jazz 12 o'clock. I mean, Marcus Clean. They're, they're uh, a lot of obvious <clears throat> modern. Uh, which even has the grill plate like you would expect it to. Uh, and then we've got some licensed stuff, of course, Randall's licensed in there. We've got an, a custom Overloud amp, some Marshall models, really. They call them Rock UK. Um, some Sildano models, which are really good. I've had some Sildano, I had a Sildano amp. Uh, this one, actually, this calls it an 88. That's, 88 was a preamp. I don't know where they're going with that. We've got Bogner up in there represented. The Ecstasy's represented. We got, uh, what's it called that everybody has? I just blanked on the name of this amp. Oh, Vox. Oh, it tells you modeled on. Oh, the 88, that's the preamp. So if you hover, we get modeled on. So there's our JCM 800, JTM 45. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. I skipped over orange that's in there, but your maces are in there, your fender, uh, and then your cabinets. <clears throat> got all your cabinets, all of the speakers represented. Uh, then we got pedals. So uh, in and among here, I use, as you can see over here, a compressor, Ottawa Octaver. The phaser is fantastic. Um, the chorus is cool too. Reverb's not bad. The delay is fantastic. So I always have those things uh, on my rig. And so what we're going to go over <clears throat> is how I set up my, like it's basically a live rig for when I'm streaming on Twitch. And so the, uh, I have got, uh, I didn't start the other camera, did I? Tisk, tisk, but we haven't needed to look at it yet, so that's fine. Um, let me start this footy camera. 
We'll start the footy camera. And, um, wow, looky there. You can see the footy. Awesome. So, uh, this is the Nectar Pacer, Pacer, the Pacer, Nectar Pacer. And, uh, I also have just an expression pedal, uh, plugged into it. And I'll use that to control uh, the volume, actually, in this case, the volume pedal for the volume. Uh, I use it for gain. I use it for different things. But in this case, it's uh, volume. And I can even, hey, there's Boomer. Hi, Boomer. Um, I can even, in Ableton, because Ableton has a fantastic MIDI learn function. When I turn on MIDI Learn, I can any parameter I click on, like on the screen, it'll be able to like learn, which is fantastic. But so, when it comes to uh, <clears throat> these pedals and these different things, you have full control over what uh, you know, min and max on your CCs they're actually sending. It's 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 just so awesome and flexible. So, I learn a lot of controls. Um, on this stuff and so what we have learned well I'll tell you first I guess what the amps are um, so in this particular rig uh, we've got we're just going between a mid gainy type of a thing and a high gain type of a thing and let me hide some of this to where I can see some stuff okay now we're going now we do in cello. cello. Oh, that's my echo. So, uh, and that's, uh, you know. Obviously, the high gain, the lower gain. So you could say, oh, oh, Boomer's mad. Oof. Go get him, Boomer. Who's out there? What are they doing, huh? Um, and the volume knob, is it's only on the high gain. So that's a Hot Rod 100, which I believe it says S. I believe that's a Sildano. Um, <clears throat> three way two by a 212 uh, match cabinet. Uh, the other amp is the Sildano X88. So I don't know why <clears throat> I happen to put these two together in this particular rig, uh, but I did. So, and. What happens, let me zoom into this rig so you can see. So what happens is our signal goes left to right as you would expect. Um, we go through each of our pedals and then we hit a splitter. And so I have mapped my splitter to be on this here MIDI button. So this is sending out a, a MIDI control and all of that stuff is totally, so you can set up what kind of MIDI message from the pacer you want to send. Um, without too much trouble so we've got it uh, doing a CC toggle so uh, you can see if you look at the splitter there that slider <clears throat> which can be anywhere um, and that just takes any CC value to get there 1 to 127 um, I've got them set to go you know either way so that changes channels as it were so for me it's changing amps uh, and then further down the line, you want to make sure that you've got these guys uh, panned to the middle, to the center, because they're literally you're replacing one amp with the other. Um, sometimes, <clears throat> and it's fun to use these amps this way. It's fun fun to just uh, throw two amps on and put them in stereo, and that sounds really big and fat and wide. We're just not doing that on this particular thing. Now we do get a good bit of stereo from this delay pedal. This delay pedal is fantastic. So it has a stereo control. And if I kill that, it's just a normal delay. If 
if I pull that up a good ways. Beautiful stereo delay. So I usually, and we'll see if that is true, I usually have that delay mix mapped to this knob back here on my uh, Novation. So this little controller, I really keep back here just for the knobs. Uh, the knobs on this thing are inaccessible, and I don't even remember if they work. It's really old. Um, so these knobs are my accessible knobs. Uh, this control should control my delay uh, level, which it does. So, and that's a matter of, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, it's still allergy season here. I'm clogged. Uh, that gives us uh, hardware control over that delay level. So we've got hardware control over our channel switching down here. Then we've got uh, our delay on off, actually, is the next button. So put some delay up, so off, on. And you can see these even light up. Um, super great, awesome, handy controller. It's got dog hair all over it. Get your dog hairs off my stuff. If I could keep my dogs out of my stuff, right? So, um, hardware control on that stuff. <clears throat> the next button over is going to be our Octaver. Oh, this works great in conjunction with the heavy, heavy game. Get all the harmonics coming out and then some. Maybe better without delay. So I find, and I find that tone uh, like really useful. Uh, for example, the push is out of frame. You can't see what I'm fooling with here, but uh, this song that's actually on the thing is uh, Zeke. So the other buttons, I should say, on this down here, these two right here, I have mapped to do Ableton up and down scenes, and then uh, the last button is a delay and chorus effect that comes on my voice when I press and hold it. So it's on and then it's off. Uh, so I can go down in my Ableton thing here and find the scene for a chorus. Um, and yeah, it turns out it's a, it's just a, it's a nice fat tone. So in this example, really, it blends in and since I'm going to, I'm singing, should be singing through this part, um, it gives me something really easy to play on the guitar. So, and it, it blends in nice too. It's also, it's good for, uh, I like, I like the dynamics, you know, kind of going or that's not the right word, uh, the juxtaposition of that tone with like really soft songs, you know, light songs, songs that aren't heavy. Um, I wouldn't say that one qualifies as that. Um, it does rock pretty good. I'll pull up the words here so I can sing that little chorus part at you. I sing it at you. This is Kingdom from Zeke Finn. This is his name. Super cool song. I'll just do this little chorus part. I see miles and miles of kingdom, but there's no castle, there's no queen, just a soldier on an open road. I see all my dreams where there's a picture of a perfect world so 
you can see I can even kind of like if I got other stuff to do, I can even You don't even need to pick that stuff, especially when it's like up in the mix, right? So hear it in the mix. I see what is it? Miles and miles of kingdom. your feet in a great software amp and you have you know every every any and every amp you could ever want uh, right there available to you at the swap or press of a button um, if you want to mix two amps together just as to have a multi-channel rig you can do that if you want to mix them together for a stereo sound where they're both playing together you can do that let's check that out I think I have I think I have <clears throat> a clean patch that is a mix of two stereo. Uh, harp clean, maybe? Yes, that's the one. Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> Hey, that's enough. Good God. And when you mix them both together, you get this. I just was looking at that dog. His every hair on his back is standing up. Like he don't get like that too often. Something must be down there. So I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna check it out. Be right back. We'll wrap this video up. Just think about how awesome that clean tone was. So it was nothing. Shocker there. So you got that Dynamo uh, clean tone from two amps that we were just hearing. And, uh, you know, I think that's about the long and short of it, dude, with this, with this, it's just a great amp. It's a, uh, doesn't seem to be all that heavy of a plug-in either. Like you can use, I use multiple of them. Um, I've used four or five, six of them, which is super handy to not have to, uh, seems like with other plugins, I'd kind of keep one as the amp channel and then always be recording to printed tracks. Um, like waves um, and just changing the patch whereas this is super convenient I seem to be able to leave every track with its own plug-in which remembers whatever it sound that it had so it's pretty awesome so I recommend this plug-in highly it's good stuff uh, it's from Overloud it's from Overloud it's called THU TH-U um, and then, of course, uh, go get you something with Ableton. Get a little controller or something that comes with like that free Ableton version. Get you going with live. It's super fun. Um, I have a push as well, which is this thing. <clears throat> oh, is it? Pulling up stands from everywhere. Good job, Paul. Pull this back into view. Oh yeah, that's where it normally sits. Kind of had it out of the way for footy footy camera. But uh, you know, you can use this guy to control all your loops to input stuff. Gives you really like hands off situation. And when you combine that system <clears throat> with an amp and a modeler and a good MIDI pedal like this, you can just have a blast uh, just jamming. Um, so. Put your money where your mouth is, Harp, right? 
What do I usually start jamming on? This song, I'm like, this song has a jam on the front of it, I think. I changed the amp, didn't I? Do, 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 do. This is the one that was in. There's just some delay. I think that's it. block the view of the pedal thing sorry but uh you understand how it works so it's all good uh it's a fun fun super cool rig uh if you are so inclined and want to jump into software amp land and even have regular hardware control it's so easy to do so i recommend getting right on it man uh in any event i'm gonna jump off and maybe hop on a twitch stream if you're over on twitch check me out i just started Harp streams. I will see you around the block, homie, later.